Let's start with the skull. Uh, yes, once again, everyone knows that the face is above the skull, the bones, and on them we have cartilages, muscles, fasci, fatty tissues, all treated by veins, arteries, vessels and capillaries, blood and lymphatic and the neural network. And yes, a human face is a complex living, continuing and developing system. First of all, the impact of the skull shape at the face shape reveals in large scale proportions. Here, look, I've taken the image of a skull and edited, edited it in the Photoshop. Uh, this is uh, a normal skull. Here it's stretched vertically. This produces oblong heads. Here it is, on the contrary, flattened or stretched horizontally. So let's see some examples. The skulls of Nicolas Cage and Maxim Galkin are of, are of oblong shape, oblong. And uh, here, at these photos, we see the heads with a wider shape of the skull. Here, I've taken this part of the skull from the superciliary arches, uh, arch uh, to the lower edge of nostrils and somewhat flattened it. This is a very interesting skull. I mean, this feature produces very interesting faces. Have a look at Anastasia Stotska. Her eyes and lips are big enough as they are because her facial muscles are rather well developed. And the fact that her skull is somewhat flattened between nostrils and brows. Uh, it's irregularity to her face, a zest of sorts. Uh, we can look after these photos, after these photos, oh sorry. And here we see the, some, the same effect actually. Uh, I think it's interesting, that's why I give so many examples. Evidently enough, this interval can be on the contrary stretched. Uh, and here I overstretched it. I've overstretched it. Uh, and the jaw, I mean, this bone, the lower jaw, can be big or smaller. Uh, it can be said that if someone is not happy with the shape or size of his jaw, the modern plastic surgery methods can solve this problem successfully. If the jaw is too small, it's possible to set an implant on the jaw bone and it becomes greater. If the jaw is too big, a part of the bone is grinded and it becomes smaller. And again, the result looks naturally because the bone is a firm tissue, unlike the lips, for example. Let me give an example of jaw correction operation. Uh, for this, let's go to the site plasticclub.ru. Uh, this is the site about plastic surgery. Well, it's in Russian, but I will take many examples from, from there. And by, by the way, I'm Russian. To, and this English video course is actually a translation of my video lessons in Russian, which are available from site facing4.info. Uh, so, this girl 
already had a rather attractive face because uh, the the orbicular muscles of her mouth and eyes are well developed which produces big eyes and lips however the problem the problem uh, was that the face wasn't proportional enough uh, because of her small jaw. And actually an implant uh, was set on her lower jaw. Her chin became greater and uh, the whole face became more balanced and nobler. Additionally, her nose, after the rhinoplasty, became smoother and smaller but I still I still think that uh, this convexity not the cavity like not entirely smooth and round uh, wasn't an aesthetic default and the nose could have been left intact uh, but this is my personal opinion so Of course, there are some cases when people go astray and set superfluous jaw implants, which are absolutely excessive from the logical point of view. And this is, uh, and that's what has happened with Jocelyn Weidelstein and Bogdanov brothers too. Uh, now. Uh, let's watch a small video from the portal plasticclub.ru. Uh, this is an example of a complex plastic operation which also included uh, the reshaping of, of the low jaw. Facial feminization, breast implants, rhinoplasty. My name is Julie, I'm 19 and I'd like to change the shape of my nose to remove the bulge and make it narrow. And also I want to enlarge my breast. I've learned on the internet that there is Dr. Mamedov who does wonders in rhinoplasty. Hi, my name is Julia and I'm 19 and I'd like to change the shape of my nose and, and to enlarge my breast. And I'd like to make the nose narrower, to remove the bulge and to correct the tip. And I'd like to change my face. It seems to me that it's not womanly and coarse. What can be done? I'm ready for anything. If I think that I'm not beautiful, I cannot meet people, communicate with them. I can't learn, can't work, just sit at home. Such operations are nowadays very popular in the West. It is a beautification, the integral improvement of the face. At first, analyzing your face, we see that your forehead slope is interrupted by two bulges on the forehead and such bulges are characteristics for male foreheads while a female forehead should be absolutely smooth smooth curvature will make your forehead more woman-like at second we should pay attention to the cheekbones currently they have a rough outline as well once again here we should take away some bone to smoothen this contour and create a smooth curvature. This will add a tenderness to the outline, roundness as well. Summing up, we remove this and this, tighten your cheeks, remove this circle, and in general we are close to the ideal proportions of your face. This will make your view more beautiful. A third, in the same way, we'll, re we'll reduce the angles of your jaw to avoid the abruptness, just a little by 4 mm. At fourth comes your chin. That's what are you short of. Previously we mentioned that uh, the parts that should be reduced to smoothen the contours. 
плавные границы были. То есть подбородок. Here we need to accentuate your chin. We'll enlarge it slightly by three millimeters only. Чуть-чуть подчеркнем, увеличим, да? Вот так. You've mentioned so many invasions. Are you going to make cuts all over my face? In what concerns the cuts? In spite of so many operations on the forehead, on the cheeks, the jaw and the chin, all cuts will be hidden. Uh, this baggy skin under your eyes will be removed through your mouth cavity. The same for your cheek and the angles of the jaw and the chin. All these cuts will be hidden in your mouth. To correct your forehead, I'll make a coronary section of the scalp through which will smoothen your forehead and your cheekbones. If such cut is straight, it can be seen when the hair is blown by the wind, for example. To avoid this, we'll make a zigzag cut, which is proved to be unnoticeable even with the waving hair. The operation on the nose is the most common operation compared to what we've mentioned, so in our case it will be a standard rhinoplasty. We'll remove the bulge, accentuate the tip, turn it upside a bit to reduce the length and tighten the base of the nose. The rhinoplasty will be done by hidden access, all cuts made from the inside, so there will be no difficulties. So what about your breast? Before and after the operation.